paper, scissors, flowers. Okay. Um, so, I'm going to Okay, so this is our remediation proposal, and um, you guys have any comments on it? Maybe bring me a one for me? Did anyone bring any? I brought a detailed um, outline. I got my laptop. Okay. So yeah, so last week we kind of started with you pulling out those points. Yeah. And then now you actually have the remediation, so we can give feedback on it, or as much of it as you've worked on. So yeah, we can give feedback before we start the video. It's not an important Because I went to the digital studio thing, okay. and I put together the majority of it, but now it's just like incorporating the rhetorical appeals. Okay. Or like music and okay. background and stuff. Um, yeah, this is just like, I was still like working on like the structure of my website. Like I was getting that down. Like I only have, the only thing I have is like the template of what I'm using. So, I don't know if you guys want to Oh, you flip it? I can show you. Ah, yeah. makes sense. So basically, um, like I said, it's missing some rhetorical appeals. Right now, it just has the information that we took from the proposal we did last week. So now I just have to find music that will appeal to men and more background so it's not boring.
showing the whole, are you going to show the whole thing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what, is this part of a website? What's your, are you putting together a, a full video? Yeah, like those clips are mine. This is the only thing I okay. incorporated in there, the video. Okay. Everything else will be me. I was going to do something similar to it, like a I like your expert testimony. movie idea. You actually had like a face to give us, so I thought that was pretty good. Anyways, anyone else have any questions? <coughs> yeah, I was going to do something similar to the like, uh, slideshow with like a short video and like some music to it. And I was going to talk about the same thing, but t teenagers, not men. And I was just going to put like some good statistics and nice images with it. I have a couple of slides. Yeah. Well, um, any recommendations for her music? Music that appeals to men? To go with statistics. Man, I, mean, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, what are you trying to evoke from your statistics? Well, it's just like the ones that, like experts that I pull out of my essay. So mm -hmm. I don't want it to just them just looking at a black screen, just reading. Yeah. You know? I don't know what you mean? Just put some classical violin music. Or something. Like the saddest vibe yeah. ever, like type of music. Piano music. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, you know that commercial that um, where it's like the eyes of an angel? I know, that's what I was thinking of, but I was like, everybody's been associated with the dog commercial. Oh, true. They're probably going to do that for people. I just thought about it. Mm. I was thinking of Kelly Clarkson, doesn't kill you make a stronger. No. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I can't put a full view because I don't know why it just messes up my laptop. So I'm just gonna do something like this. It's like hard statistics and like images that make you sad, it makes you think. And I'm gonna talk about more um, like US. Not I'm gonna focus more on the US. So. You, people can relate or watching it here. And this is, uh, <coughs> I'm going to put a graph of uh, where the mo where it's, where people are mostly obese in America. And this is, the darker the color, the more people are obese. Yeah. And we have in Florida, good amount. And then I'm going to put who's to blame, and then, well, not with this picture, probably something else. And then I'm going to talk about the media, mm -hmm. all their notes. And then I'm probably going to find a video somewhere 
on YouTube or something, just put like a short one, two minute video and then end it with maybe a quote or a statistic or something like that. I'm gonna make it like a movie, like this. Come on, come What's your topic? Uh, Children of these yeah, and the effects of media. Yes. The effect of media. Mm. Yeah. Can we do infographics? Mm -hmm. I think you would be better off with infographic or a weekly. What's infographic? It's like a um, sheet of paper that has everything on there. It's like something you will find in magazines. Okay. Like you know those advertising pages? It'll be one of those. Or a Weebly, because I did a Weebly last year for English Countdown. And you can add videos, you can add everything. Okay. It's a website. It's okay. free, you can add everything to it. So look at infographics and look at Weebly. And if you still don't like those, then you can do the video. Okay, nice. <coughs> I like the images of the children, though, because that, I can tell it. Yeah, open it, it makes you think it could happen to someone that's related to me. That's mine. Okay. I'm making a website. Hey, that's the same thing as me. Yeah, do you hear from the school? Huh? Do you hear from the school? Mm. I like my mouth from the school. <laughs> <laughs> I still work on the website. It's <coughs> Do you have a website? Okay. Make one now. website also um i thought the website like a website would be best like i said only have like the template of like kind of like the um structure of my website because i was focusing on how my website would be viewed by my viewers like i didn't want them to drown them in information if it's just like one long page so i separated it in tabs just to keep their attention um like i said my colors was red black and white like white symbolizes purity, red symbolizes power, also blood and war, which is like how I feel about, like there's like a war on beauty as what the definition of beauty is. So I wanted to emphasize that to my um, viewers. I also, um, I'm also using my, um, an expert testimony as well, like she did, is about a girl named Kate Metcalf, Metcalf. I think story where it's in the form of an interview she explains about her eating disorder and how she feels that a lot of it has like the cause of it was due to the media and how it would how the media um change her perspective on what real beauty is so that would be part of my web website I planned on using like Kind of like the um, pictures that I used for my um, intermediate draft, well not my intermediate draft, for project one, I wanted to like show my um, ad pictures and see if that can um, be beneficial to showing, hey, you know, this is not the only thing that's beautiful, this is just what the media is saying, so. Let's see if I can look in. Is that the dove? The dove? Yeah, the dove campaign. <coughs> I would also, I don't know why, like, I thought, like, a comments and concerns page would be, I don't know, crucial for my website specifically because I know some people, 
like hopefully people who do suffer from anorexia nervosa or like bulimia would come to the website and actually feel that they need to you know share their feelings so i actually created a blog within my website to create sort of as like a network of where they can come and vent out or use other people as support so it's just i don't have like the physical like i only have the template like i said in play right now first page is like this and it's kind of like a depressing picture kind of like one person walking alone you know but, and then each slide I'm going to talk about something different so for this one I'm going to talk about what negative body image is so I have a picture of I forget what I have a picture oh yeah I'm showing that it's like mental like she's skinny but she looks in the mirror and thinks she's fat and I talk about that and I have this one I talk about how media portrays a woman should look like that's like a fitness model, and obviously most of them are I had a different picture that I was going to use. It was. What was it? Um, I don't know. I have a whole bunch of pictures. I have one where it shows like three different women next to each other. Mm -hmm. And I have different body types and body shapes. And yeah. So I keep going. Okay. I can go ahead and start. <coughs> yeah, thank you. It was pretty good. I actually really liked it. So this is our body image group. So focusing on women, focusing on men, focusing on youth. Yeah. And women. Yeah. Women. Yeah. Okay. So everyone's gonna be prepared to go Monday. I think what I'm I think I mentioned it earlier. It's gonna randomly pull the numbers pull. But with certain groups like this group where the um, topics are all together, I want you all to present at the same time so that Dad pulled Jazz name. Mm -hmm. Then all of you need to be prepared to go right after Jazz. Because then because it's so complimentary. That will be, I think that will work out best. Did you say we're going to make like one together? No, we don't have to so do this together. Monday. This Next Monday. Monday. This coming Monday. This is it. Is that the last week? Yes. Oh, I have to. What did I say? I didn't put it on canvas. I forgot. I oh, did something wrong with yes. it. Yes. Did you know what I have on canvas? The Project 3? Canvas and my reviewers? Just put on my the remediation proposal? No, the oh, the draft. final third draft. I don't know. Okay. So I'm going to open it back up. Um, so get it in tonight by 11 59. Okay, it's done. I'm just going to put it on. What time is it? Uh, I don't finish group meetings until about 5 o'clock. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you guys. Does anyone have a couple of minutes um, to talk a little bit to me about the collaborative all, models? Yes, they're all prepared. We have class until 3.15. <laughs> That's um, what I figured. They I, don't I, have I, anything I else right all now. Of them that they There's a soccer game. Individually <laughs> so they all have time to wait. So go ahead. 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 Go 